Whenever I see a card laying on the ground, I pick it up, and sometimes it's a synchronicity. This one I saw on the ground, I picked it up, but there was nothing going on in my head at the time. This, I made no connection to it. I've never seen this movie. I hate all these movies by Disney and Pixar. I mean, I guess I shouldn't hate them. I mean, they're not horrible. They're just not great. But I'm looking at this, and I think, well, that's what the animated car looks like with CGI. This is what it looks like with an ink line drawing. I mean, a different character, of course, but I think the translation is interesting. Also, I want to know why they put the eyes in the windshield instead of the headlights. When I'm on the road and I look at a car, the headlights are the eyes. This is one of the walls in the bar. It's made of, entirely of paint-by-numbers paintings. And of course, the one of Jesus has been vandalized. This is the other wall, the opposite side, or actually to the right, it's on a corner. This Jesus left alone. This Jesus vandalized. <laughs> Cave Dweller, it's all about codes. <coughs> codes. It's all about codes, and when I say codes, uh, I mean the things that you see and you recognize and you immediately know their meaning. For instance, the stop sign is a great example of a code. You see it and you don't see letters, you don't see white on red, you don't see an octagon. What you see is a command that tells you where and when to stop, and for what reason. So the world is full of codes, and we navigate by them, and we move through the world using codes. So when you see a bunch of codes come together in an unexpected way, it's really amazing. If you stop to think about it. But often we don't stop to think about it. We just... We just tell the story, right? There's a picture of Jesus. It's been vandalized. That's the story we tell. We don't incorporate the addition of the upside down cross into the meaning of the image, which we can do, and maybe we should do, because there's a reason that consciousness converged to make that happen. What are we being told? What are we discovering? In order for that picture of Jesus to, and that entire wall actually of paint by numbers to exist, there had to be a phenomenon called paint by numbers and it had to be popular and then rejected. And due to the rejection, the paintings were taken to Goodwill or uh, resale shops, rummage sales. And then following that, there had to be an appreciation of movement, a movement of appreciation. I was part of it. The owner of Art Bar was part of it. He went around and he bought all these paint by numbers paintings at resale shops. And further, he had to have a vision to place them together. And he placed them in a deliberate manner where lines from one painting converge and flow into the next. So the phenomenon, the fall of the phenomenon, the rise of another phenomenon, and then a vision to incorporate the phenomenon <laughs> into a place called Art Bar, which is a completely new thing. It's a bar that is not well, I don't know, it's in a blue-collar blue town, it support, and it's art-based. It's, it's a new vision, it's a new thing. It's really amazing. The daycare center here at this church asked us if we could please throw this away. It's a microwave from the 80s. You can see it's still got dust from the 80s, but they're reluctant to because in loving memory of so-and-so, uh, 03 to 94. So I said, well, we'll throw it away and I'll put that plaque on something else. <laughs> and the rector goes, yeah, put it on the new fridge. <laughs> it's, it's so hilarious. Uh, liquid nails.
just wanted to express my thanks to Catherine for her generous donation of a brand new retro fridge for the office of the church, which I may or may not work at and may or not be called St. Mark's. Her generosity will be enjoyed for all future workers. I don't know who thought wood grain was an improvement over mid-century modern. Yuts.